Here's another great partitioning example. But this time, take a look again, create the table, data types. We're going to have our primary index. But this time, we're going to partition by a range and again, but with an interval of one day. Let's take a look how that's going to lay out. For each year of data, we're going to have 365 partitions on each AMP. Unless it's leap year, then it's 366. As you can see here, order number was our primary index, hashed everything to the proper AMPs, and now each AMP sorted by the exact day of the year, and you will have a much thinner partitioning scheme. Why would we do this? Well, somebody might say, I want to know what happened on this particular date. Only one partition needs to be read on each AMP. Our query wants to know about all the orders that happened between January 1st and January 2nd. All AMPs retrieve by way of two partitions. Take a look at this partitioning statement. We're actually partitioning again, range n on order date, each interval seven days. You know, seven days of work makes one week. We partition by the week. So as you can see in partition one, that's the first week. Partition two, that's the second week. And that's how it's going to work. When users begin to write queries and say things like, select everything from the order table where the order dates between January 1st and January 7th, as you can see from this example, it's only going to be a single partition across every AMP. This is an excellent example of a partitioning statement that you can take to the bank with you. You're going to be saved here. You can send your commission chips to Terra Tom Incorporated. Now, we've got our table, we've got all of our columns and our data types. We're partitioning by a range and on subscriber ID. Ah, where subscriber ID is between 1 and 500 million. A lot of subscribers here. Each interval is 10,000. So, Teradata is going to have each AMP put all of 1 to 10,000, next 10,000, next 10,000. And this is going to save queries a ton of time when people use range queries between this subscriber ID and this subscriber ID. It's not going to do a full table scan. And you'll see I eliminated a ton of partitions here. If you know your user community, what queries they're writing, you can take advantage of really great performance tuning by partitioning by something creative just like this. This lesson is brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. The next is Query Chameleon, a query tool looking to help your data adapt to any surroundings.